Hi friends! We are having so much fun doing our community helper theme this week and I would like you to meet another community helper. I would like to introduce you to Dr. Lenore and she wants to tell you a little bit about uh, what she does. So Dr. Lenore, can you tell us about what you do? Yes, Miss Mary, I'd, be, I'd love to tell you what I do. Hello and good morning. I hope everyone is well. What I'm gonna tell you about today is something that I do that's part of a bigger picture of lots of people that help you and your family and everyone stay healthy and get healthy. That's the medical profession. There's nurses, there's doctors, there's physical therapists, there's medical assistants. There's lots of people that help in this profession and I'm one of them by being a doctor. So you've probably all been to the doctor sometime, so you have a little bit of an idea what we do. We help take care of you when you're sick, and we also help to keep you healthy when you are healthy. We help you learn ways that you can stay healthy and, and give you some awesome. tools that you can <laughs> use. So the tools that I use in my profession are really extensions of the tools that all of us have that we're born with. So that is, our ears and I use these to make all the sounds louder this has this this is called a stethoscope oh that's You've okay probably seen that's it a at stethoscope. Your doctors. it has a special end that makes sounds louder when you put it on your heart or you put it on your lungs or you can put it other areas you hear the sounds in your tummy and it helps your ears to hear things that you couldn't otherwise hear with, with just your ears. Although in the old days, the doctors used to actually just listen with their ears. Wow, so think of that, kids, right? <laughs> now, there are uh, some other things. Another tool that's an extension of something all of us have is called an otoscope. Ooh, that's a fun word, friends. You can try saying ears. that, otoscope. Odo means ear and okay. scope means to see. So this is an extension of my eyes. And you turn on the light, you look through it, and you can put a little end on it to help to see better. I'm sure everybody's had their ears looked at with this at the doctor's office. There's another part of it that helps the doctor look in your eyes. And we have lots, we have lots of other tools that help us to listen and to see and we also use our hands a lot these days we're not using our hands so much because we're staying apart from each other but normally we use our hands to tell if everything feels normal on a person so that we can understand also more about what's going on with them so what i want to leave you with is we help people by using our eyes and our ears and our hands and of course our brains, which put it all together. And this is something that we studied a long time to do, but it's also something that everyone can do by using the tools that they have to help each other. So if you use your eyes to pay attention to each other and your ears to listen to each other, that's very important. Sometimes you can help someone just by listening to them. And even as a doctor, sometimes all I do is listen to someone they tell me that that makes them feel better. And when we can touch each other again and shake each other's hand and give each other hugs, then that is also something we can do to help each other. Well, so. that is so awesome, Dr. Lenore. And friends, I think we should say thank you so much to Dr. Lenore and all the medical professionals out there who are community helpers. And we are very thankful and grateful for what you do. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Lenore. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Bye. Bye.